All right, hello everybody, it is I, Grand Riot, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with our Gen 2 Type Challenger Flying Type. We are in the post game now. Exciting stuff. And as we do in the post game, we are going to speed through everything except for, uh. Except for the, um. Gym Leader fights. Because everything is under leveled. If y'all don't like that, sorry. Wait until I get to the uh, next playthrough. There are a few people to fight on here. Should be able to knock through them pretty quick. And get us into Vermilion City. Now the question is, is do we go take on Lieutenant Surge right away? Because we have the freedom to do a lot of that stuff. And um, the reason I ask this is because, I mean, we are a flying type team. We'll have to think about it. We might go get just a couple things that I know we would like to have. The only thing I'm really worried about is his Magneton. So that's that's the re the only thing I'm really considering, you know, here that we're gonna have to face is that magneton. Okay. Get out of here. All right, let's heal up. So the only thing I'm really considering going to get right now is um, Hyper Beam for Firo. Because I feel like that could really help us. I'm taking on these two little trainers here because they don't matter in the slightest. Pick up Psychic while we're here. Not that we can use it, but just because we get it. Let's get over here to Celadon. And we need, what, 7,500 coins? There we go. Only Firo can learn it. I also have a Pokemon power up in here. So we might as well increase the Pokemon power of Hyper Beam. Get these leftovers. Do it again.
give these leftovers to Murkrow, only person that currently is not holding an item. All right, now let's go see if we can take on Lieutenant Surge with these updates to our team. So this, like I said, speed through the other trainers that are not gym leaders. They don't count. Because they're just so under level. Poor guys. They try. Alright, let's swap up Farfetch, because this next guy's got Magnemites. Magnemites are literally the worst thing for us to be facing late game here. Skarmory's close to leveling up. Let's see if we can get that little bit of experience. go heal to get our mud slaps back and get off this paralysis. Let's swap Firo up. Alright, here we go. This will be, like, the hardest gym leader we face. I mean, that's just the stat. What has happened to my camera? Oh my goodness. Just a second. Camera, what happened? like looked up and happened to notice like what is going on drop it drop that Raichu stab hyper beam good deal Firo All right, well, here comes the Magneton. We dropped its accuracy. Uses the least accurate <laughs> electric move. If it hit us with one of those, Farfetch would be toast. Now, do his... We have Electabuzz coming out next. We'll go back to Firo. Do his Voltorbs know an electric attack? Like, double team and a screen and something else, I think. Got him. Critical hit. Firo, you beast. So it's double teams, double teams, double teams. Our attack is as high as it can go. Can we just hit it once? It swifts us. That's not an electric attack. Critical hit swift. Ah, Farfetch is like these double teams don't fool me. Whoa, bam!
Good job, far fetched. Thunder badge gained. Alright, let's just keep Firo up for now. Just fly to Saffron since we already walked through it. Shaman bup. Bum, bum. Drowsy. Take it down, Firo. No mercy. Easy peasy. Swap up Murkrow. I always seem to mess up this one. It's here first. And then here. All right, Murkrow, you ready to destroy Sabrina? Shadow Ball that SVF. So if it drops our accuracy, we just switch to Feign Attacks, because Feign Attacks ignores accuracy checks, and there's the Sand Attack. So now we're just going to swap over. Besides, um, Mr. Mime and Alakazam like to drop their Reflects and Barriers, and <laughs> Feint Attack does not even care about those. Pretty sure that Alakazam cannot even hurt our Murkrow. See, he uses a psychic attack, does nothing. It's already got the reflect up. She uses the hyper, we do it again. There's the recover, but we out damage the recover. Easy peasy. Over to Celadon we go. Swap up the old far fetched. The old A far fetched. Good critical hit on that executor. Whoops. Headbutt it. Headbutt it. 
fear I'll come in and drill peck this whole team. All right. Here we are at Erica. Okay, we have a victory bell next. We're just, I mean, we're just gonna drill peg everything that she sends out. Steelwing for Firo. Farfetch'd is done. Murkrow is done. Skarmory still needs to know. I have rest for Skarmory. Well, I think we do teach that at some point. But I have Steelwing Fly Toxic Rest for Skarmory. I think we just keep Swift and well, I could probably teach rest now. We'll just be in place one of these center moves. Alright. Uh Firo did level up. Let's swap up Murkrow. Gonna faint attack through these uh, Pokemon. Let's icy or Shadow Ball you. Icy Wind, not Icy Wind, a Fire Pokemon. Got us with the poison. Murkrow should be fine until we reach um, another. Oh, got us with the burn. Well, I can get rid of it though. But I go down, regular punches. Oh, let's just get you back. Murkrow will be fine. Really just trying to get some more experience here on Skarmory. Skarmory trying to learn Steel Wing, so we're gonna learn that in place of Sand Attack for now. Let's swap up Farfetch. Thank you. 
Almost took him down. Ah. Uh, two flies missed. Alright, let's swap Skarmory back up. So we can laugh at, uh... <laughs> Jin at Janine. I'll give myself that rainbow badge. Good damage, and our defense went up on top of that. Explosions! Not only do we have massive defense, our defense went up a stage, so those Weezings have nothing. They could drop our accuracy, I guess, with smoke screens or something like that, but she can't toxic us. Just two explosions. Scarborough was like, what was that? Venom off with a dire hit. I guess the dire hit was for us because down it went. That hit was dire. I mean, then we just have Ariados. Tries to nightshade us. Misses and goes down to another fly itself. Oh, yeah. So let's teach Toxic. Alright, we need to switch Farfetch'd up for this next fight, even though Farfetch'd is level 50, just because it has some Magnemites. Are far fetched. Do I have a paralysis heal? I do just have a straight paralysis heal. Ignore the tracker while it tries to catch up. Actually, wait, let's swap up Firo first because Murkrow's gonna need to take on the hiker at the end of this. Easy peasy. Swap up Murkrow. Take on this guy with the two Fearows.
get that Pokemon power up. Increase that Hyper Beam even more. Easy peasy. All right, this is the one that I needed uh, Murkrow to take. Not needed. Wanted Murkrow to take on. Because we do have Steel Wing now on uh, Skarmory, which would have probably done the trick as well. All right, well, let's just keep Murkrow up front and keep going. This is the part of the game where we just rush through everything. Because there's so many trainers we fight before we get to Misty, which is our next gem leader. Two calciums. Both of those go to Murkrow. We'll swap up Skarmory here. We are blitzing through all these little trainers, though. We're not really running into any issues. Swap here to Firo. We have like what, two more trainers on this route? And then two trainers up on the way to Rock Tunnel, which we want to go through to, or we want to go inside to get Steel Wing for Firo. Teach this in place of Pursuit. Alright, let's heal up. Swap up Farfetch. There's a guy with Magnemite. There 
we go. We'll just keep going with Farfetch till Farfetch levels up again. to the power plant. up there because I want to fly. Swap up Murkrow. Okay. Made it to the power plant. Phone call. Fly. Let's heal. to the power plant. Bills we go. Thank you. 
Swap up uh, bar fetched. Sorry about that. Get this protein here. Okay, let's heal up. We're going to let far fetched. Take on some of these trainers here. Get that level 53. And we'll swap over to Hero. for Misty. Let's just return on the gold duck. Got like, what, 10 levels on it? Yeah. Lapras is coming out next. Let's swap here. Let's toxic Lapras. Alright, both Pokemon will faint in three turns. Neutral damage with the steel wing. So that should take it out. Now we swap back to Firo. We return the Quagsire. And it's a got some defense, so yeah, it hangs on just barely. Finish it off with a drill pack. And then here comes the Starmie. Hyper Beam. Excellent. 
That's exactly what I was hoping to see. Alright, let's swap up Murkrow. Fly down to Vermilion and heal. Catch the Snorlax so we can get its leftovers. Okay. Uh, we'll keep Murkrow up. Let's get this uh, Snorlax out really quick so I can get it. Then we want to give it to Skarmory. shop really quick. We got some items to sell. Stuff that's just taking up space. Good job, Murkrow. We got a Cascade Badge, I better mark that. Oicy Wind. Onyx is coming out next, alright. I mean, that really... Those cries, for some reason, dropped my frame rate down to, like, 60%, or my, my, my emulator speed down to, like, 60%. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Can you fix yourself? We just skip the cries, the tracker won't mess up. Well, that's gonna do like nothing. And we heal it with the leftovers. You drop that, sir. That's actually what you should be doing. Almost all are. Good damage. Critical hit. And look, Skarmory went to sleep. We have the Toxic on him. We'll be fine. All right. 
right. That's a boulder badge. Timbercrow needs one fight to level up. minimal damage. Alright, let's swap Farfetch'd up. Just a second, I'm gonna get a phone call. Sorry, I could have kept the game audio going there. I don't know why I, I muted the game audio. Just needed to mute my, mute my microphone. Anyways, Farfetch's sword dance, swords danced up. Our rival here is trying to put up a fight. <laughs> Emphasis on trying. That's not what I want. I want Skarmory up front. Let's get down to Viridian. Let's hop in here and take on Cal with his level 50 team of starters. Wait, we're going to swap for Typhlosion. We'll go back to Skarmory here for Feraligator. Palette. I'm trying to think, I was like, does it really matter who I use? It really doesn't matter who I use.
Okay. Let's talk to Blue to get him to go back. Heal up. Sometimes we can skip this trainer, and other times it's like, nah, fight me. All right. Here's Blaine's gem. Gym leaders left. Let's faint attack this Macargo. Okay, it does rock slide us, which is a good choice. Not a lot of damage, though. Magmar is coming out next. Stick with the faint attack. Thunder Punch is a good choice. That's a good coverage move to have on Magmar. Doesn't get the paralysis though, so this faint attack should take it down. And because Murkrow's in a little low on health, we'll swap over to Firo. And Hyper Beam this Rapidash. And there's our Volcano Badge. Alright. Let's fly back to Viridian. We're going to swap our Firo up to start against his Pidgeot. And here we go. It's blue! And then we just gotta train up and get ready for red. Sorry, I meant to speed past that. Let me fix my tracker. There we go. Uh, let's return on the Pidgeot. I don't know if a Hyper Beam will take it out itself. Well, it probably would have. It would have got close. It's gonna return on us. No, I think he just has base happiness stats. Yeah, look at that. Let's make sure we take it down. All right, I expect Rhydon to come out next. So we're gonna swap to Murkrow. Miss our Icy Wind and take a super effective Rock Slide and go down. Alright, let's swap to Skarmory then. Not what I wanted to happen with Murkrow. Let's get Murkrow back. And what are you doing with those Fury attacks? That's not gonna do anything to Skarmory. Use more Rock Slides! Wop a bow Yeah, I didn't expect the Steel Wing to take it down, but the Toxic definitely will at this point. So I would expect next he's gonna send out his Arcanine.
Yep. We're gonna go back to our Firo. Let's return it first. Same reason for that we returned Pidgeot. I just don't think one Hyper Beam will take it down. We should be able to survive a Flamethrower. We didn't get burned. Excellent. Extreme Speed. I forgot he had that. That's what'll drop us, isn't it? Yep. Sacrificial Duck. Oh, there's a full restore. And I hyper beamed. Stop that. Okay, Alkazam's coming out next. Let's go to Perk. Uh, let's go to Murkrow. Huh. That was a pain in the butt. Alright, the Gyarados is going to be the next hardest thing we face. We have the poison on it. We're up in the air. Right, I think we can take a hydro pump. I hope we can take a hydro pump. So, we should be able to... Oh, it full res he full restores? We're supposed to do that. Okay, well, it was a good move. Let's... Revive Skarmory. And heal Skarmory. And then let's heal Firo. You know, it's just one of those things, like, I forgot that he had another full restore. He's, the, like, the only guy with two of them. Good flinch. Just gonna go ahead and mark the dish. Okay. Let's fly to Indigo Plateau and heal. And refill our items. Four, three, and three. Fly to Pallet. Talk to Oak. Fly to Viridian.
All right, we made it here to Mount Silver. So I'm going to end this episode here and do this leveling off screen, but we should be back later today to finish up this playthrough and get our next one all set up. So I hope you all did enjoy the episode this morning. We'll see you next time.